Hello everyone and welcome back to Learn to Love DIY. Today we are creating this cute happy birthday card. We're going to be changing up the colors just a tad bit. And in order to do, create this card, I used the Bonanza Buddies. I used the Koala here, the Happy Birthday, as well as the sentiment here that says, I'm glad it's your birthday so I can tell you how wonderful you are. And then I used this, uh, uh, I think this is for the candlestick here, the light. And we're going to be using the same format with different colors. I'm going to be using the Smoky Slate and the Petal Pink today. I'm not changing the sentiments around, but I am changing the colors. And I'm using the Petal Pink Variegated Ribbon to match the card. I have a base that measures 5.5 by 8.5, scored at 4 and a quarter. And this is in Smoky Slate. I have a Whisper Weight piece that measures five and a quarter by four. I have a Petal Pink piece that measures five by three and three quarters. And I do have another Whisper White piece that measures four by three. And then I went ahead and took the liberty of stamping out our koala. And all I have to do on camera is, or by magic of camera, I'll be die cutting this little guy out um, to go ahead and complete our card. So to get started, I'll be stamping a couple of the sentiments out first. I've already mounted them onto my blocks. I'm going to go ahead and step the sentiment that'll go on the inside. And I'm going to be using the petal pink for this one. Taking my foam mat out. And I'm going to be centering this as much as possible. Okay. Setting that aside. And then for this smaller piece that will go on the front of our card, we're going to be using the petal pink as well as the smoky slate. So I'm going to go ahead and do one color first. And I'll be stamping the happy birthday also while I'm doing this. Okay, so let me go ahead and put away the petal pink. And we're going to be using the smoky slate for the happy birthday as well as for the, the remainder of the cute little, I'm going to call these sparkles. Before I do that, I'm going to take my simple chamois. And just clean it off just a tad. And we're going to go ahead and stamp the happy birthday right here. Leaving room for our cute little petal pink a bow. And then with the smoky slate, I'm going to continue on with these cute little sparkles. Okay, I think that should be good. All right, I'm gonna put this one away. Putting my mat on the side here. Okay, so we are almost ready. I'm gonna go ahead and put pause, and I'm gonna go ahead and die cut this little guy. And let me show you. Mm, see if I can find my dies. Are the Bonanza dies here? And I'm going to use a little koala to die. Cut this guy. And I'll be right back. Alright, so as if by magic, I went ahead and already die cut this little guy. And I apologize for not, not doing it on camera. I just I have a minimal space. And if I were to bring the big shot or the Sizzix that I have, it'll take up everything that I have available to me. So it's kind of hard to do all that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take my Tombow and start adhering all the different layers. So this is the layer that will go on the inside. And of course, I changed up the colors. However, you can 
change it up even more by adding more layers or changing up the colors once again to make it your own. I'm going to do the petal pink layer. And please tell me, I normally just let you know what the sizes of the papers are, but if there's a certain preference um, that you're wanting to get your instructions from how to make this card or of some sort of like spreadsheet or maybe just writing down in the description box the measurements, please let me know and I'd be happy to accommodate your needs. Then we're going to go ahead and take our Whisper White piece that we stamped. And then we'll center that. And as you can see, I had miss stamped on that side, but it's, it's always good that you can flip your paper and try again. So this little guy will go in the corner here. And then we're going to take a glue dot and the bow that I've already went ahead and... Tied. Sorry, I'm trying to fix this guy and it's kind of hard to talk and try to get this guy to look okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a glue dot on there and then put it towards the bottom here. Or actually, this seems to be a tad bit longer or towards the bottom. We're going to change it up and put it on the corner over here or on this corner. This corner, I think. There we go. There. Tad different. And now, in addition to the bow, we're going to be doing a couple of the Rainstones Basic Jewels. Let me get this guy covered. And I did three of the small ones. Now you can choose to leave the rhinestones out. I'm going to go ahead and cover my little oops there that I did with the ink. And that's the great thing about sometimes adding embellishments to the card is that you can cover them up and it's not a really big deal. There's two and there's three and that completes my card. I'll show you both of them. I think I really love the petal pink, but it's one of the colors other than the, the um, smoky slate that I've been using lately that I really love. I love the color combinations. So I like this one a lot and I and also like this one, but I think I'm leaning towards this. I don't know if it's the, the colors that bring it out or just the fact that the bow just is a tad different than this one. It brings a lot bit more dimension on this card here. But here is the card that I created before the video. And this is the card we did on the video today. I hope that you have enjoyed today's tutorial. I will link my 24-7 Stampin' Up! online store. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. I have also put that in the description box. And if you have any questions, feel free to either email them or put them in the description box. And I really thank you very much for watching. You guys have a great day.